so excited. We're going to talk about musicals, my favorite thing in the world. Changed my life, enriched my life. I still love musicals, don't you? The theater company 42nd Street Moon continues its delicious dames of Broadway oh, <laughs> season with A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. Now, that was a stage musical based on the famous book and film of the same name. Our guests today are the director of the play, John DeZavino. DeZavino. Yeah, you got it. Did I? Yeah, I love good. that. First and what was so rare I get the names right. <laughs> and one of the leads, my friend Carla Beffra, who I've seen before on stage. Welcome to you both. Thank you, Thank you. Jan. So nice to have you here. Now, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn is one of my favorite movies. Is it? But I didn't know it was a musical. Well, you know, the musical is quite a bit different than the film. The film is really the story of the little girl, as the book is. The musical tells about how the husband and wife met you know, so their whole, their first courtship. And then uh, a lot of the emphasis shifts to Aunt Sissy, the Joan Blondell part. From Which the is the film. most fun in the movie, the Joan Blondell yeah. part. She was the, the aunt that I most relate to, the yes. one that's a bad all, influence on the children. She had all the husbands, and every husband <laughs> yeah. she called him Harry, because the first one was Harry, and she loves that name. So no matter what his name is, she calls each one Harry. And this is a, a similar character, and you get to Absolutely. play this character. Absolutely, that's right. Oh, what fun for That'll you. Be me. And she's got a, a blockbuster song called uh, He Had Refinement. She talks about her first Harry, and what a refined guy he was. <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, they did a, a lot to adapt the story to the, the musical form. I mean, they, they got rid of a lot of characters. I, I think people might be disappointed if they're expecting to see characters, all the characters from the book, because uh, in order to, to make it fit the form, they mm -hmm. had to actually create characters that would lend themselves to singing and dancing. And sure. I think G George Abbott was the co-author on the book with the, the, uh, the novelist. Betty Smith, and um, you can really see his influence there. I, I think he uh, had a strong hand in the way that the musical turned out. But you brought us a very small picture here of Shirley Booth, who starred in this in the musical version. Yes, yes. as well, the great Shirley Booth. Right. So, yes. and did she play the aunt in it? Yes, she yeah. played the aunt. She, so How they fun. really modeled it for her, and I think they gave her all the good numbers, frankly. Uh huh. <laughs> and was it a hit when it came out? It 19, was. It, it was it, in 1951. 51. It ran for seven months, mm -hmm. and it was up against some blockbusters. And Shirley Booth won the Critics Circle Award for Best Actress over Gertrude Lawrence in um, The King, King and, and I, I. Oh my and gosh. over Ethel Merman in Call Me Madam. Whoa! This was the same year as both Call Me Madam yeah. and The King and yeah. I. Which and is why Paint Your Wagon of... was up. You know, Paint Your shows, Wagon? Yeah. They're lucky that anybody even saw right. them. Exactly. Right. You know, isn't exactly. it sad when that happens? That happened to Chicago that's coming here to San Francisco in a couple of weeks. Yes. Right. You yes. know, that came out when a chorus yes. line came yes. out and nobody paid attention to Chicago, right. which is such a wonderful scandal and Which say it weighs us into 42nd Street, Street, Street Moon's Moon. mission. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is one of those musicals that's really the, the, I think, the quintessential lost musical because you run into hundreds of people who know this show. It played for seven months it lost its original investment and it's never been revived so how come everybody knows they'll say to me oh you're gonna be in the show oh you get to sing he had refinement how do they know this well they've got the the cast the album which is now a cd and it's got a cult yeah. following a cult following there so is, that's I how think, i am yeah. with fiorello oh, i'm right. fiorello they're I, doing that next season you're you're kidding? Kidding? Yes. Yes. Yeah. i am i'm there so. i am so there <laughs> because that is the best score and it's about the mayor of new york city fiorello yeah, lagotti right. i saw it with tom bosley when i was a kid no, it has the best score and people uh there's a cult following following, yes, just like yes. there is with this. Right. So this is one of those shows. I, I didn't even know about this. Good. I didn't know there was a musical. 42nd Street were, said, we're going to do it, and would you like to play Sissy? And I said, oh, gee, I don't know. Let me listen to the CD. And then I, and I listened, and I said, oh, so you're giving me a present. This is a gift, letting me play this part, sure. because it is it is a knockout. Well, part. I saw you in Claire Booth Loose's The Women, oh, and yeah. you like you like to play these kind of wacky days, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, they're fun, over the top. Oh, absolutely. I think that's where, that's you know, others can have the romantic leads. Sure. I'll play those ones that get the laughs. So. Yeah, I have a ball. Yeah, I live that, you know. I live that character. <laughs> <laughs> and you play it. You, Jan, really, yeah. with a Brooklyn accent. Well, it's fun. It's really fun to be that Abs bigger than life crazed Absolutely. Uh, thing. And it's, uh, it, I mean, there was a time when there were lots of women that were characters like that, you know. Oh, yes. And this is these kind of plays. Mary we Bolin that. was another early Mary one. Bolin. And I played a couple of Mary Bolin toujours parts. Toujours l'amour. Yes, yes, toujours yes. l'amour, l'amour. I played a couple of Mary Bolin roles in earlier 42nd Street Moon shows. And she was kind of a Billy Burke, wacky kind of. And she was a huge Broadway star. Uh -huh. And then she, you know, people don't know who she is anymore. Mm. Now, in, um, Joe, tell us about 42nd John. Street Moon. John, John okay. I'm so sorry. It's quite all right. uh, tell us about 42nd Street Moon. Well, 42nd Street Moon uh, was, c came to being to present shows to the public that have sort of fallen by the wayside, that, uh, like this show, that were, for some reason, you know, they were really popular in their day, but for one reason or, or another, got lost in the shuffle. What are some the, the others shuffle. that you've done? 
um, well, we Face the Music. Face the Music, which was an old lost Irving Berlin. It has some great right. music in it, like uh, 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 Let's Have Another Cup of Coffee. Let's Have Another Cup of Coffee. Which yeah. everybody knows that song, People but they know, know the songs from oh these shows, gosh. but they don't know what shows they came from yeah. or, or if they, that they even came from a musical what else? show. What else? What else? What else? Uh, Cole Red Porter's Jubilee. Cole Porter. Oh. Redhead was the last Redhead? show. That Redhead. That, uh, Lucille Ball was in that on Broadway, no, wasn't it was she? Gwen no, Gwen Verdon, of course. Of course. Right. Bob Fosse choreographed it, and that was one that just sort of vanished. It's never been revived uh -huh. so some people know it but most people don't uh jubilee uh which was cole porter's he wrote uh, begin the begin for mm -hmm. that he mm. wrote um a lot of beautiful standards uh -huh. came from that show and people don't realize and that next year fiorello now do either of you have the thing i, I was saying fiorello when i was a little girl uh, in la we had a, pl a theater called huntington hartford theater and all these mm -hmm. new york people would come out and do these shows so i saw mary martin john ray at nanny get your gun right. and i saw a fiorello with tom bosley and those wow. were two of the shows mm -hmm. that just opened that world up to me oh, yeah. do you have those kind of memories from seeing a certain show oh, or boy. i mean what, what oh, turned sure. you on to this wonderful world of musical theater well, it was high school. I got dragged into audition for Oliver uh, ah. through the Artful Dodger, and I was—it ah. like, was like the last thing I could imagine myself doing. And, uh, and you uh, get to sing "Consider Yourself." That's a good number. Yeah. Well, I—I I, I couldn't. I was so nervous. I didn't go back to the callback. Oh. So. <laughs> I ended up being in the chorus, but that kind of started the whole thing for me, and I have had a love affair with the musical, musical theater, theater since then. Do yeah. you have any special favorites? Oh, God. I mean, I could Just go on. Uh, Camelot, I, I love. You know, I grew up in the early 60s, so mm -hmm. the whole Kennedy mystique oh, yeah. with Camelot, that was big then. Um, uh, Stop the World, I Want to Get Off. Ah, uh, now see, that's one a lot of people don't know. Here. Yeah, Anthony uh, Newley. Newley and uh -huh. Leslie Brickus. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That has what kind of fool am I? Exactly, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And what about you? Well, my uh, parents used to play the cast albums uh, around the house, so I grew up listening to Oklahoma and Carousel and all the great Rogers. Uh, and I was and do you remember the movie Jeffrey, where uh, Paul Rudnick's yes. film, where um, Nathan Lane takes the cast album from My Fair Lady and uh -huh. says, "This is God. This, yes. this is God." <laughs> yes. Here's yes, how you there. can see this play, uh, which uh, is such fun. A tree grows in Brooklyn. The musical opens Thursday, October first. The new conservative Theater Center at 25 Van Ness Avenue, which is close to Market there, right? Yep. Yeah, it's a good theater in San Francisco. For tickets, call 415-861-8972. That's 861-8972. When we come back, we're going to mention a couple of our favorite musicals on video and a, a little bit more, so stay with us. On video, new, these are new releases, City of Angels, Titanic, which I do not think it's a good movie, but I like the, uh, I like the technology of some of the, uh, graph the visuals, and the score, a wonderful score. Uh, the Apostle, The Wedding Singer, kind of dumb fun, and The Sweet Hereafter, a strong, powerful drama. Now I'm talking with you two who do musicals. Tell me a couple of your favorite movie musicals. Uh, West Side Story, num ah. number one. Oh, yeah. 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 We yeah. just showed it at the Castro. But if you can't missed, see it there, Rita, Rita Moreno, Moreno. Yeah. she was marvelous. Yeah. But she was great. Yeah, she really was. Her interviewer was really good, too, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, West Side Story, very successful and uh, very uh, in terms of translation from screen mm -hmm. to stage. I think King and stage I was strong, King. although I know it wasn't, King and I. Uh, you know, her what? voice, but uh, it was, oh. I think, if you just to see that little ha uh, cabin of Uncle Tom, you know, oh, that yeah. fantastic choreography. Um, which, which she was in, Rita Moreno was in that, too. You guys just mentioned Oh, that's mentioned right. It. Yes, yeah. we helped right. him but yeah, it had, one it, of her many ethnic roles. That's yes. right. But it had such a great score. Uh, King and I. In fact, why don't we sing it right now? Whenever we yeah. feel afraid, <laughs> we hold our head erect and whistle a happy tune so no one could suspect we're afraid and out of time. Yes, of course, but I'm so glad you all have You're been cast. here. You got the pot. I got the pot. Oh, it's the easiest thing I ever did. Do you know next week we're going to have Stephen Baldwin here? Uh, yes, one of the Baldwin brothers. He has a new movie out called One Tough Cop or One Good Cop or One Weird Cop. <laughs> one Tough Cop, yeah. And it's a tough movie. And also Alfie Woodard. How cool oh, is Alfie Woodard? She is the best. Did Wait, you cool. see this movie, Heart and Souls, that she was in? Like, it was filmed in San Francisco. Heart and Souls. No. Rent that on video. But that. keep singing and dancing, and we'll see right. you at 42nd Street Moon. Right. Ah, I'm yes. so glad you all came by. What fun that'll be. And Fiorello next year. Yes! In the meantime, this is Jan Wall saying Happy New Year to all our Jewish friends out there. And no matter how rough things get, keep singing in the rain. Bye -bye. I'm singing in the rain. Yes, sing. Singing in the rain, what a glorious feeling.